Good day, everybody. I'm Patrick Arhari Ramani, a professor from the Decision Sciences and Innovation Department under the RVRCOB. So good day. I hope everybody is doing well and safe. I'm here to present my research paper titled Relationship of CSR, Employee Motivation, and Employee Relations. As an entrepreneur, manager, or strategist, most often we always look at our bottom line for profits. As a measurement of our business, we always look at profits, we always look for ways to increase it, but the essence of business is all about relationship, our relationship to our customers and our stakeholders. We need to remember that we cannot do it alone, but we need our partners, our employees, and our managers to execute our strategies and plans. That is why in management, we must always strive to have a balance between profit stakeholders, and employees. In this slide, we will see the different variables that is going to be part of this research paper. So we have here corporate social responsibility, internal CSR, external CSR towards employees, towards local community and business partners, employee motivation, and employee relation. According to Ferreria, and the Oliveria 2014, corporate social responsibility has been in the spotlight in the last decade. The challenges derived from new technology and fast-paced market changes pose different challenges to organizations because of the informed consumers. This raised the bar regarding how companies should behave towards its stakeholders, which includes the social, economic, and environmental concern. In this study, we will be looking at corporate social responsibility in a different light through the internal and external corporate social responsibility with its relationship towards employee motivation and employee relation. In the center of the study is Baglins Corporation, a family business that is operating for more than 28 years. It is one of the top pillow manufacturer in the Philippines. It supplies to different malls, hotels, and hospitals. Some of its notable clients are St. Luke's Medical Center, Asian Hospital, Makati Medical Center, Pure Gold, SM, Raja Veritas, and Landmark. This company never forgets about its stakeholders. The founder of the business is a charitable man. The spirit of helping and giving back to society was passed on to the current management and is being expanded through partnership with different orphanages, charities, activities, and events. Even though this company is profit-oriented, it never fails to help society. It always thinks on the different ways on how it can affect society in a positive way. In this slide, we can see the different partners of Baglins Corporation. We have Gentle Hands Incorporated. It also has partnership with Plush and Play. It also has partnership with You Happy, Barangay Aruga, and Golden Acres. This paper is centered towards the statement of the problem. What is the effect of corporate social responsibility on employee relation while being mediated by employee motivation in Baglins Corporation. In this paper, we define corporate social responsibility using the definition of Ferreria and De Oliveria 2014. According to them, CSR can be defined as policies and practices that organizations engage regarding creating positive social, including environmental changes aimed at the different stakeholders. It is important to note that this is a voluntary approach of the company. Employee motivation is derived from the Latin word movere, which means to move. According to Mitchell 1982, motivation represents those psychological processes that cause the arousal, direction, and persistence of voluntary actions that are goal-oriented. Robbins, 1993, defines motivations as the willingness to exert high level of effort towards organization goals conditioned by the effort's ability to satisfy some individual needs. 
<laughs> Employee relation is defined by Ratnam 1995 as an overarching term for relations between employers and employees in all aspects of work. With the changing character and composition of the workforce, employee relations are being viewed as a further broadening of the human resource management by Banfield and K2008. And this is the operational framework that is used in this research. We can see that CSR is broken down to internal corporate social responsibility that is directed towards the employees of the company. We also have external CSR, which is directed towards the customer, lo local community, and business partners. Internal CSR are those acts that is being targeted to employees, like giving gifts, subsidy, or help. For external CSR towards clients, it is composed of relationship towards clients, managing complaints, fair pricing, and right information. CSR towards local communities is composed of helping the local community through sponsorship, feeding program, cleanup drive, and other activities. CSR towards business partners is composed of fair pricing, maintaining good relationship, managing complaints, and abiding the law. Further, looking at this framework that is adopted from the research of Agarwal et al., we also have employee motivation and employee relation. This is the research methodology used in this paper. This paper is a, descript is a descriptive paper. It has correlational and causal explanatory. The company that is being studied is Baglins Corporation that is located in Bukawe, Bulacan. The questionnaire that is being used was adapted from the study of Agarwal, Agarwal et al. 2015 and Samuel 2018. The questionnaire was pre-tested to a same business model and the company has 80 employees or based from the data that was gathered, we can easily say that CSR positively affects employee motivation. This is agreeing with the different literature cited in the study. But when we break down corporate social responsibility, we can see it tells a different story. Only external CSR towards local community positively affects employee motivation. One explanation to this is that the company has a lot of CSR towards the local community, but it lacks corporate social responsibility in other areas. On the other hand, EM, or employee mo motivation, has a positive and significant impact to employee relation. However, when it comes to CSR, being mediated by employee motivation towards employee relation, the model is not significant. This goes against or does it agree with the study of Agarwal et al. 2015. There are reasons why it is not significant. First, it may be because of the small sample size. The paper of Agarwal et al. has more than 180 respondents compared to this study that has only 80 respondents. Second, the demographics of the company, wherein for the demographics, for them, cash is the only subsidy that they acknowledge. Third, can be is that there are other variables that needs to be combined with corporate social responsibility so that it can become a significant predictor to employee relation. But based on this research, we can say that corporate social responsibility is needed because it plays a vital role not just in shaping our community, but it affects employees, which helps them be become motivated even though we know there are other factors affecting employee motivation like compensation and workplace. So in conclusion, corporate social responsibility helps every business fulfill its social contract to society. This is our this is this is coming from Bin Hussein et al. 2014. CSR positively and significantly impacts employee motivation. Only employee corporate social responsibility towards local community is a significant significantly impacts employee motivation. Coming from this paper, employee motivation significantly impacts employee relation, and CSR was not a significant predictor of employee relation when employee motivate shown was included in the model as a mediating variable. So in order to further test 
employee motivation and CSR was used as an independent variable, while employee relation is the dependent variable. So after, when this was done, it was found out that it was a significant model with a p-value of less than 0.01 and the r squared is 0.37, indicating that approximately 37% of the variance in employee relation is explained by the corporate social responsibility and employee motivation. So the recommendation is that motivation of any employee is a key to success of any business. So the company should further its action towards motivating its employees to using different factors like compensation, workplace condition, uh, more team building, or the likes. More corporate social activities that is geared towards now employees, not just the local community, but also its employees, its customers, and its business partners. The company should innovate corporate social responsibility and look at developing or transforming the business as a social enterprise to have a solid social mission that is geared towards addressing societal problems. The company should also as well put up a central CSR committee that will handle the corporate social planning so that it will have the right corporate social responsibility activities for its employees and stakeholders. It should also use open door policy and hire unbiased managers that will help the company have bigger operation and CSR activities. With that, guys, I thank you for listening to my presentation. I hope you are well, you are safe, and I hope you have learned something from my research. Again, thank you so much and God bless.